Hi, in this video I want to talk about the product rule. The product rule talks about products of functions and how you take the derivative. So we have f, we have g, what's its derivative? Well, it depends on what the derivative f is and what the derivative g is, and in a very specific way. If we take the derivative of the product, it's equal to the derivative of f, the rate of change in f, magnified by g, that's the contribution from the rate of change of f, but it's been magnified by g. Plus, we also have to consider the derivative of g and magnify that by f. Okay, so these are the two components. There's a sum, the first having to do with the derivative of f times g, the second, the derivative of g times f. And this is the product rule. So this is something you have to commit to memory. Let's look at it, uh, some examples where you might apply it. This first example, we're asked to compute the derivative of t squared times e to the t. So in this case, our first function we'll call f, that's t squared. Our second function, g, that's e to the t. And the product rule tells us that if we take the derivative of f times g, that's the same as taking the derivative of f times g plus f times the derivative of g. So what happens in this example? If I take the derivative of f, that's t squared, uh, that's the derivative of t squared, so that's 2t. Then I have to multiply that by g, which is e to the t. Then I add to that f, the first function, t squared, and then I take the derivative of g, where g now is e to the t. The derivative of e to the t is just itself e to the t. So that's it. That's the product rule. It tells us exactly what the derivative is if we know what the formulae for the functions are. Let's look at some more examples. In this example, I, ha I want to find dy dx, and I know that y is equal to ln of x times x cubed. So I'm going to apply the product rule again. dy dx, according to the product rule, I'll have to take the derivative of f, that's my first function. So the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x. Then I'll multiply that by g. g is my second function, that'll be x cubed. But then I have to add to that f, without differentiating it, times g having been differentiated. So the derivative of g is 3x squared by the power rule. So again, derivative of f times g plus f times the derivative of g. Hey, this can be simplified a little bit. x cubed divided by x is the same as x squared plus, and then I can make this a little nicer by writing 3x squared times ln of x. Okay? But in either case, these are both equivalent answers. Let's look at two more examples. In this example, I'm given g of x is equal to e to the x times ln of x, and I'm asked to find g prime of x. So my first function, f, is e to the x. My second function, ln of x, is g. So g prime of x, by the product rule, is I differentiate the first function, e to the x. Well, the derivative of e to the x is simply e to the x, times g, which is just ln of x. And then I add to that, I take f without differentiating it, which is e to the x, then multiply by the derivative of ln of x, which is 1 over x. And that's it. I could combine terms a little bit and write this as e to the x times ln of x plus 1 over x. But either way, they're equivalent answers. Okay, finally, let's look at uh, this function, p equals r squared plus 1 times ln of r plus 1, we want to find dp dr. So here my first function I will call f, r squared plus 1. My second function in the product is g. I'm multiplying these together, so I use the product rule, so I get dp dr is equal to the derivative of the first function. That's the derivative of r squared plus 1. That's just 2r times the second function, ln of r plus 1. 
then I have to add the original function f, r squared plus 1, without differentiating it, times the derivative of the second function, ln of r plus 1. Derivative of ln of r plus 1 is 1 over r plus 1, and then by the chain rule, times the derivative of the inside. In this case, the derivative of r plus 1 is just 1, so I don't get anything new. Okay, so this is an example of using the product rule to find uh, derivatives of products.